Bedside tables really are the unsung heroes of the design world. I mean, sure, they're essential. You can pop your books on them and your glass of water at night, but even more than that, they add balance and symmetry to a bedroom. So if yours like these are looking a little underwhelming, let's give them the love they deserve with a chic and stylish makeover. I think it's pretty fair to say that everyone around Australia probably has at least one piece of furniture made of pine somewhere at home. Now the reason for that is this stuff was made in the 80s and it was built strong and to last. It's sturdy as. The trouble with pine furniture is over the years the varnish tends to yellow almost to an orange colour and this is what most people don't like. So they either chuck it out or it ends up in the council cleanup. Now with this stuff I think look beyond the colour, look at the shape. So if you've got a piece of furniture that's well made and shaped like this, you can actually change it completely with colour. So that's what we're going to do. All it needs is a good clean down and then we can start painting. The type of paint you choose really depends on the look that you want in the end. Now I want a less than perfect hand painted look. So I'm using chalk paint. And the great thing about this is you don't need any prep. So it's really good if you don't like sanding and you don't like doing all of that priming. It's quick, it's water based and it dries fast. Oh, and you might think it's easier to paint it as is, but I always turn furniture upside down, whether it be chairs or tables, bedside tables, and start from the legs first because it's easier to access all the way around, that way you don't miss any spots. If you do use a combination of a brush and a roller, it makes the job a lot faster. So basically what you do with your brush is you get into all of these little corners and areas that are hard to reach. And on the flat areas, use a roller. You can lay it off with a brush, but the two together just make the job a lot more professional. Apart from just painting the drawer fronts, it's a really good idea to paint a little bit on the inside too, because obviously your drawers pull out, so where it pulls out, you will see the sides, so you don't want them to look ugly. So I go about halfway down, make sure the paint is not too thick. If it's too thick, the drawers will be hard to open and close. Two coats of paint and these old pine bedside cabinets, they're hardly recognisable. Now I could just leave it at that and put the knob straight on, but because this is a matte finish paint, it will tend to scuff and not look great over time. So you need to protect them with either a layer of varnish. I prefer to use wax. It's really easy to apply. It just livens up the surface. So get a coat all the way on. And then when you get to the end, let it sit and dry for about 10 minutes and you can buff it up to a soft sheen with a cloth. Been able to save a little bit of money by reusing the old brass knobs, and I don't mind that they've got this slight patina. It's very on trend at the moment. And one last thing that you might like to do is just take some old wrapping paper or wallpaper scraps and just line the inside of the drawers. It just brings them up as good as new. Look at that. Fresh as a daisy. Let's get it in place. So you're probably wondering why I went for the colour black for my bedside tables. Well, I really took my style inspiration from the original exposed brick wall in this space. It has quite an industrial edge, so by choosing a strong colour, it really adds balance to the space. And by carrying it through, it just ties it all together. Now, remember, it was a cost saver. I didn't have to replace the knobs. All I had to splash out for was the paint and the wax. $75 for that lot. It's a pretty good result, don't you think? Not a lot of money spent. Nobody.